How are we all doing this evening? You know, I wouldn't have believed either if I wasn't called upon. Yep. All this stuff that's going on is crazy. You know, <clears throat> they kept me. You're not in charge. You've got you've got a someone behind. It's something behind you that's that's actually in charge. But um, I remember. <clears throat> In the beginning, um, you know, after after the first thing was um, when I had damaged my eye so bad, I, uh, I wasn't allowed to work for three months. And by the time I was ready to go back to work, they had, you know, I started reading Jordan Peterson. And then I read Hume. And then I read, I was young. And then poof. You get me? <laughs> and then it was just like, I, I couldn't, it was like, um, you woke up in a different, like, like in a different body, you know, somewhere just like everything's insane. Um, cause I remember the first thing I noticed I couldn't stand the TV and that's another reason I'm, I'm the re there is a reason there's horrible people around me, you know, <laughs> because I've had to, these are like things that I've had to conquer myself, you know? trying to figure out why are these people, why do I have such horrible people around me and um, why are they continue to act like that? And um, that's really what I try to look for, you know, and try to figure out. I'm trying, I, I, I don't like to watch people suffering. I wish I could just do, you know, and, and they just stop being, you know, the idiots that they've been become. <clears throat> but I remember coming outside and looking at the, the clouds and that's the one I started, that was the first time I noticed, like, I remember being four or five and looking up at the clouds and actually being able to see all the different things. And that's exactly what I felt. And I remember backing away from everybody. Um, it was an intense thing when they, when that happened, it was a flash, you know, like a grenade going off in your head and everything blind, you know, completely black. And then it was coming back and I know something's different. You know, and the first thing I noticed was that I put my phone in my left pocket, and it's been there ever since. But, you know, I dealt with that for a year and a half or so, two years almost. And, I mean, I, after I was, you know, after they did the flash, all I wanted to do was, I, all I could see was suffering. So I wanted to help, and I tried to go through the school system here. Oh, what a what a nightmare. That was another lesson. I can't believe what we've done to our children what kind of situation we've allowed to happen come out this isn't new this has been this has been going on because parents um you know just it's easier just to take the teacher's word don't bite it but blah, blah, blah. And now we're here we got a hundred bunch of weak let me see a bunch of weak people in charge for sure and this is what happens but let me see and then I just read and read and read and read and read. So, and, and it's progressed. I could see it, you know, you just become, di it's like, uh, it's crazy, but I, I could see the change, you know, every day. It was almost every day I, I've learned something and, and kept progressing. And then on See, at, th at this time, I'm going to tell you my co what what I was, like, had in my head. Because I'd already gotten out of school because all that shit happened. I mean, it was horrible, like Nazis in there. All right. Um, the, the schools are horrible. To, to, to take it over by the evil. Straight up evil. Um, and that's our colleges, so. And the elementary, middle, high school, all of it, dude. Martin County High School was a shithole. Um, but... Let me see. So at this, I was like pretty much just 
reading like um, different psychologists and stuff. Um, just trying to to get myself prepared because I just wanted to leave America for one thing. Once I once I got my kids out and on their own, I was ready just to pack my stuff up and you know of course fly out because you ain't gonna walk out, which I would have done, you know, because it's like I you know. Which I would have done. I would just walked. <laughs> I just America. I, I just it's so lost. You guys are so lost. That's what it is. TikTok should be banned. It really should be. You know, it's destroyed a whole whole generation, man, of people. But all I was going to do is um, take me a flight or go to Ecuador and start walking. And then maybe I could help people along my way, journey, you know, going up and down the coast, you know. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Yep. And then on 6-9-2021, I walked outside at 9-43. I looked up and I saw three lights in the sky. It looked like a triangle, you know, heading out. I'm looking at it. I'm like, then I'm thinking to myself, they're going to hit each other, you know, because why are they so close? And then I just looked behind it, and for as far as you could see, now, it's hard to tell how long, how far something, like, but when you have something over your house, and you could see it as far as the eye could see across the horizon at night with the line of different lights and stuff, and I, I ran inside, grabbed my daughter, my daughter, we watched it, we're watching it for a few minutes, and I'm like, and it started, you know, doing some stuff, so I ran back in, I grabbed my son, we all walked out here, and we watched it for a good 10 minutes, it took, you know, to go over that just went out over the ocean and I walked in and um and that's when you know I was like why what are they looking at and I walked outside and I looked at got to the end of the driveway when I got to the end of the driveway I looked out you know to, over the water and it was like less than five miles really probably four and it just out of the star out of the freaking cloud dude just a uh, meteorite and as soon as it happened it was like it something like changed and I just started I said I understand and I just started crying and I was like flooded with all this of with God it's what it was it was like overflowing joy you know and that was when I that's when I called that's when I started texting Erica and I'm like I understand you know she kept calling me Benjamin forever and right when that thing went my head went right to I could see it Went right to, I love you, Benjamin, dude. And that was like, I understand. <laughs> Crazy. You know, because I'm telling you, women, are, women, you know, and they're healthy, man. It's hard to, hard to, <clears throat> you know, hard to outwit them when they're healthy. Um, But yeah, I had no idea. She was teaching me the whole time, really. I didn't, I didn't even understand what was going on at first. Yeah. Uh, because she could see things. I don't understand how she could see all the stuff that I was seeing. You know, she could see what was in my mind. If I was thinking something, I, just in my mind, she'd come back and tell me what I'm thinking, what I'm seeing. And she's like, don't worry about that. And I'd be like, so there's like, you know, she just kept doing things like that. To like kind of, because I'm, I'm stubborn. You know, I can believe shit, dude. And then ever since that, I've had, I had a ship. It was probably, you know, three feet around. 30 feet from me, just hovering over my fucking fence, dude, back fence, you know, and then, um, I saw another one, that one was about this, it was a, it was, uh, I guess it was like twice the size of a, of a, like a helicopter, it was like two helicopters, it was, it was like a round disc, and it was just coming, it was probably 200 yards off, and then, and that one turned and went, and you could see the round, you know, the shape, and it just turned and no sound. And then another one was over the house. I walked out of the house, and there was a black helicopter. It was always to hang around here, like started hanging around after all, everything started happening. And the black helicopter was up there, and right next to it was like a car size. I mean, it's probably big. It was like the helicopter. It was like the size of a helicopter, you know, like that was, and it was just floating there, hovering a couple hundred feet off my uh, above my house. And I watched the helicopter fly off, and I watched, you know, <laughs> the ship. And so there's like, you know, there's no doubt. So that's why when I make these videos, and I'm just trying to help people, I'm trying to explain um, 
I mean, come on, I've been doing this for almost now four years now, and everybody's hiding from me. Yeah, because I'm truth, all it is. Everything I hit people with. Yeah. Don't you see how Jordan Peterson has been acting lately? You don't think he knows who I am, what's going on? Um, let's see, who else? I mean, pretty much all the, all the leaders. Yep. Pre uh, President Putin, yep. all that. See, <clears throat> left up to you, this whole place, you'd be in a, you would be, the whole place right now is, is, is in a death spiral, the earth. And the only thing pulling you out is God. Yep. And so right now, there's an impulse. The Christ impulse is all over the world. And um, you can either jump on board or not. You can change your ways. I mean, people, horrible people could change their ways like overnight. And it literally like, it's like a Grinch thing. It's all that shit really works, man. It's like you stop being angry with people. You start looking at yourself. And why do people don't like me? Why am I not liked by people? Maybe change the stuff that's inside you. You know, because if, if you wake up upset in the morning, there, there's something going on. You know, so you're going to... And, and it and it's like and it just goes down the thing. So if you got an angry mom and dad, then you have angry kids, and that's just how it is. And I've dealt with that my whole life. With the you know, chill, um, uh, well, but ships, there's gonna be giant ships, man. You gotta be landing, like, and it's gonna be like. <laughs> It's going to be epic, dude. It really is. They've already showed me everything. I mean, I, you have no idea how intense this is. To um, I've been dreaming the last three nights. The last three, four nights have been really, really intense. I don't really dream much, you know, because I have other things I'm doing. But last few days have been pretty intense. So, so definitely some things are going on. Um, yeah, if you want to see ships, you can look at uh, Mr. What is it? Mr. MBB33 on YouTube. He shows all kinds of, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, is just whatever. But there's there's real stuff on there. Yeah. yeah. There's real stuff. And there's a reason. Now, here's what people, well, why wouldn't they show themselves, you know. Now, if we showed ourselves 100 years ago, do you think people would have kept continuing the way they were if we appeared 100 years ago? Yep. We're out here. We're watching. It's a cycle. It's like a, like a flush, and you're getting, you're about to go on the flush. You know, we're flushing out the bad and bringing in the good. That's what it's going to be doing. Yep. So you're going to actually see hero is actually stepping up. Yep. Not the faggot ass fucking kid rock and shit. I can't stand that dude. I've never liked him. You get me? And I've never liked his music. And then the whole thing with, and you could see how how. So he, you know, he got paid by the day of Budweiser people. And then he's like, I mean, that is like the turncoat. You get me? I mean, would you really want that person around you and your kind of family? Mm. Just sell out to people, man. I'm telling you, all these people, all you rich people. <laughs> yep, you're not rich. No. Nope. I'm going to tell you, you see people on the side of the road, all these homeless and stuff. You, what do you think? What do you think the people in those ships look like? You wouldn't know what they. You wouldn't know if they look like us, would you? You're you're waiting for you're waiting for all the other things. Well, there is. There's many many different beings. All right, you're going to see all these different things, like Star Wars kind of stuff. But there there's multiple planets with moa humans all over it. So you're going to see humans, and they're already here. They make up. You know, I'll tell you, a lot of them are the homeless. Yep. 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 God sends them down here. Yeah, to watch. And that's what they do. Yeah, they're watchers. You wouldn't even know it. Mm. But all I can su suggest for people is to... Um, try to get off the internet. Try to get off that... Um, TikTok, start reading. I mean, Rudolf Steiner would help so much, but Alexander Lowen, um, Eric Fromm, um, Abraham Maslow. <sighs> and then there's a lot of good, you know, good um, books, out, books out there. Because everything's going to go dark. 
All the electronic shit's going to go off. All the high tech stuff's going to disappear. All these people that are, you know, living off the internet, you know, making money, only fans and all that, all that's going to disappear. It's going to get really, really bad. Can you imagine when all these people go from millionaires to zero? What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, you're about to find out. Um, I'll tell you, the, the first word that they ever showed me in the clouds was Uriel. Yep. That was after the whole thing. And then I knew God. That's all I knew. Because Erica kept telling me, God, you know, she kept having God in there. And I was like, man, what is she talking about, you know? And um, Benjamin, da 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 you know, and I was like, I didn't just get it. And then I got it. But um, it's hard to keep track of this stuff. There's so much I want to talk about. <sighs> but I really just want to help other people. You can't, we live in a time where, where nobody knows how to talk on the phone anymore. I get texts and stuff like that. I don't do that. You know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm actually, I'll talk. You get me? <laughs> I have conversations. Um, but it's going to get really bad, really dark. And people don't need to be, it's not the time to go chaotic. It's a time to find peace with yourself and protect your family, your neighbors, start looking out for one another. Um, find your friends, find your real ones, the real friends and get rid of the old, get rid of ones that aren't. You don't want any of these people around you when all this stuff goes off. Um, yeah, Uriel, that was the first, first thing. And I remember looking at right here in this chair, looking up, and it, it is just like they just rode in and with, you know, playing his day. And I'm like, you're a motherfucker. And that's exactly it. That's when I was like, you know, I went from, I've never read any of the, any of the Bibles, any of that stuff. And I went, you know, and now, and it took, I started, and I didn't even do that after that. I started reading Rudolf Steiner. And I was studying him for like a year. And then I started reading Bibles. And then I started reading all Old Testaments and, and all the books that were taken out of the Bible, like the 13 or 17 books that were taken out of the original, the book of Jasher, um, Jake, all of them. I just started reading them and I'll reread them again. And I do, I get something out of every time I do it. And that's why most people just read something to say, I've read it. You know, like if you talk to, I've talked to people that read Nietzsche or Zarathustra, but they can't talk about it. They can't explain, not even get in discussion with you, you know, can't ask questions like, what do you think? You know, they're like, you just read it. You know, it was like, they didn't understand it. Um, and that's what we fail to do. I mean, we have to take challenges on and actually, you know, just because it's hard, you know, just don't skip over it. That's what my son does. You know, he gets something hard, he'll throw it to the side, you know, he's got to start challenging himself, you know. Because believe me, I did the same thing with Nietzsche and shit. I started putting everything down. It took me a little while to 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 get into where he was at, but um, but all these greats, you know, all these books, great books in the past that would help you get through this. Right now, what's going on? Um, we've we've we become a godless a godless country. I'll tell you that. At least at least I know this place in Canada. As godless, right? There's, you guys have, um, <sighs> yeah, this is pretty much Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what this is. Yep. And I was like sitting there, you know, if not me, who? You know, who else is answering any of these questions? Who else is putting his life on the line? <laughs> I fuck with people all the time. You don't think why people want to kill me? Fuck, come on, you know? And we'll move on to the next thing. Let's see, I, none of that worries, because there is no death. Nope, only transformation. Yeah. All your loved ones are right are around you. So, all all you people that have, like, been dirty to people your whole life and just gotten away and over and whatever, all that's coming to an end. I, I'm going to tell you, you're going to feel all the misery that you have put on others is going to come back to you tenfold. Yeah. Well, um... What else did I just... <sighs> I'll tell some quick stories. <laughs> there was a... Um, I've already told this one, but I thought it was just so funny. Um, 
this guy, and that's funny, his name was Joe, from Orlando, I worked in Orlando, at this place, uh, he was, couple, you know, probably 30 or, 30 or, let's say 20 years older than me, I was 20 at the time, he's probably in his 40s, and, um, he was telling me that he took a, he had went to the store, and, like, collected bottles, and got enough for a Nutter Butter, you know, like one of those ice cream things. And he literally walked out the door of the store and he pulled the thing open and a bird shit right on it. You know, like timing's perfect, you know. And all that, and I, you know, now looking back, I, all that stuff happens on purpose. I was um, working with a guy named Joe, black guy, and we were driving by a house and he said, yeah, man, um, I, I said, that guy died, you know, he says, yeah, I borrowed 20 bucks from him and he died the next week. And I said, well, hey, man, why don't you, you know, why don't you go give the 20 bucks to his, to his wife? And he said, fuck that. And he was just pulling out on A1A, and a wasp flew through the window, stung him on the top of his lip, and flew out. And I literally almost choked to death watching this shit. But it was like, you know, he said it like, fuck that, like, gonna fuck that motherfucker. And that thing stung him right on top of the lip. And I laughed, choked on it, really. But, um... Like, when I would see him, like, a year later or something, driving, I'd be go, hey, Joe, and he'd be smiling. Hey, i go, what about that wasp? Fuck you. <laughs> you know, and then my friend Billy, he's in prison right now in Indiana for attempted murder. <laughs> Police officer, which was bullshit. He was just trying to get away from the guy. And the cop shot himself in the leg. <laughs> Wanted to tell him, oh, Billy. But uh, we were fishing at the 10 Cent Bridge in Stewart, and some guy had stole our fucking fish, you know, off the, you know, he was parked out by the, the end of the things and my snook ran right under his boat he grabbed my stuff and pulled the snook in then we're like hey man give us our fish back and billy's like hey man give us our fish and he goes fuck you and billy pulled up a heineken picked the heineken bottle up we were 15 16 17 at the time he picked up that bottle and said Woof, and it just whoop, whoop, boom right on top of his fucking head dude donk and I, you know, I could hear that thing. What was what, what, what it going down? <laughs> but see, all that shit happens for a reason. There's a, there's like, you know, nothing happens for accident, man. There's, and, and that was fucking funny. But that was the, the cops came. Let's see, the cops came. We were trying to get off the bridge. The cops, this Marine Patrol was coming up or wildlife officer or something. And the Marine Patrol told the dude, and, you know, we told him exactly what happened. He said, and he told, looked at us, we we're kids and they're adults. And he says, don't throw bottles and don't steal fish. And we all left. You get me? So hopefully next time you don't try to steal fish. So, um, lessons learned. Mm. Mm. Most of the things, the stories are, are in the vault forever. <laughs> I was a crazy nut, man. I really was. Um, I had to experience everything to have all the experience. I mean, I had to. That's what's crazy. It's like now I know why every why I, why I've gone through so much craziness, dude. Like, uh, but it's all for the good. I can never. I've never been happier than I am now. I don't work anymore. Can't. I can't go out and work with people. People are horrible. You know, it's it's horrible. It's, that I'm literally trapped. I, you know, I, once your once your consciousness is raised to a certain level, it's. It's it's really hard to be out there if people don't know you're conscious that, to that level. You get me? Because it's really intense for me to go out in the world. Um, yeah, and people don't realize it. So this is what I do. I read every day. I do at least four to, four to eight hours a day, probably. Studying and try to help. Trying to, trying to raise my children. Still teaching them. Um, trying to help my kids so they can help others too. I think that's about it. It's coming. You see this. Um, no one's paying attention to the, like the planetary things, the hurricanes, and all this weird shit that's going on. Yep, they're just marking it down. It's climate change. You get me? And they'll probably delete my video because I said climate change in it. Yep, that's how fucking they are. It's all AI shit, you know. So if you say some keywords, they'll just delete your video. 
but they watch me. And I'm watched all the time. I got I got FBI, I've got fucking CIA, I've got all kinds of different people. If I leave, I know I'm followed. Especially from the beginning, it was it was really obvious. They made it really obvious in the beginning. <laughs> they were just too easy to pick up. Um, and they they chase my wife around too. She gets pissed. Like all of a sudden she te she texts me and it was a bunch of cussing and shit and she was just cussing the people that were following her. You get me? <laughs> she doesn't like that. No. See, she was at Guantanamo, and she was a as a um, and she was there on the in the mental health department at Guantanamo, and you American soldiers are scumbags. Yep. The Guantanamo people that are running that are scumbags. Yep. They're torturing people over there. Torturing. Our government is torturing people. And they put people over there that will torture. Yeah. It's all picked. And, you know, it's funny. People, you know, when people see, like, uh, World War II footage and they're, like, you know, Nazi Germany and they're fucking concentration camps. And people are like, well, what were they doing when all this was going on, you know? Well, you were watching TikTok, Price is Right. Um, fucking, uh, Joe Biden fucking shit on fucking TV. What else? D Trump. What else you shit? All this crazy, stupid shit you're watching. Yep. That's why you're not seeing what's going on. How many people have died in Ukraine? Because Americans and Western people, big investments want that land. They have literally marked, they have literally bought everything out over there and have raped that place. That's all they're doing is literally raping Ukraine and What's going on in Israel? See, if this didn't happen, you wouldn't believe me. So now, now, now that that Israel has 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 committed open genocide, and and it's going to come out. You're going to see it all too. See, they thinking that they murdered a lot of press. You get me? They they are told not to let any of that shit out. You get just like over in when they did it over in in Germany. The, the Israelis have become just like Nazis. They are on the same boat yeah but you just gotta look pay attention who runs the news yeah visor think about it start thinking about all this stuff yeah poison the world yeah it's all coming to an end so um well a new beginning an okay end but all the crap is coming to an end yeah and the gods will rule see the gods are ruling right now but you guys don't believe in gods, but wait till you have nothing. You can't do nothing but believe when they're stepping on your heads. Yep. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, man. God bless.